Hey there, tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I have an incredibly bright, rechargeable, weatherproof spotlight from our good friends over at BySight. And this product is jam-packed with features, and I'll get into those in a minute, but I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll do an overview and explain the features and functions the product provides, because again, this company's thinking about how you're using a rechargeable spotlight out in the field, and they've really built in a lot of cool features that you may not find in other spotlights on the market. And then I'll actually take a closer look at the spotlight and explain the connections, the indicators, the buttons, the tripod, everything you need to know in order to use the product correctly. And then finally, I'll come back and point out a couple of key things to keep in mind when you're comparing this particular product to others you may be considering. Because again, I've looked at a lot of spotlights out there and these guys have really thought of everything. So let's get started with the unboxing. So when you pop open the box, you'll find the spotlight, you'll find a full instruction manual, and you may already be thinking, why do I need a manual? It's a flashlight, don't I just charge it and turn it on? You do, but there's cool features built in, like I mentioned before. Now I'm gonna go over them, but I always recommend reading the manual, because that way you get full value out of a product when you buy it. They've also included a charging cable, and it's not your average charging cable, it's a heavy duty charging cable. A lot of other lights on the market include a charging cable, but it might be this little short cable that's really flimsy. You'll use it a couple of times, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. With this one, it's heavy duty, it's gonna last you a long time. You can charge it in your car, you can charge it at home. It's a USB-A to USB-C cable. The USB-A end can plug into any standard USB wall charger or a computer port if you have one open. The USB-C plugs into the light in the back, and I'll show you that in a minute, but that's how you charge it. So you you can charge it in about four hours. On average use, you'll get about 15 or 20 hours use on a full charge. So you can charge it once and spend a couple of days out in the woods and have plenty of energy to use that light. They also include a shoulder strap. Now, the light's great to hand, you know, hand carry around in the woods if you're out there, but there may be times that you're not using the light and you don't want to have to carry it in your hand. So you can clip this on the light, strap it over your shoulder, and it's right where you need it if you have to turn it back on. And they also include a red filter. I think that's really nice because a lot of times you're out in the woods and you need illumination, but you don't want to have that bright light shining everywhere because this thing's incredibly powerful. So the red lens snaps on the front. You can snap it on, take it off when you don't want to use it. And it gives you just the right illumination to be able to see everything around you, but not have that glaring white light that lights everything up in the woods. So the red lens is a really nice touch. Now the light itself is based on a Cree technology. So the bulb inside there is a Cree bulb. A lot of other products on the market don't use Cree bulbs. They use some form of LED and LEDs are pretty bright, but a Cree bulb is the absolute brightest, most efficient bulb on the market. It can produce 10,000 lumens of light. Now to give you an idea how bright that is, first of all, don't look into the light. It's that bright where it can cause damage to your eyes. Don't let your kids play with it. Make sure that it's used under adult supervision because it's not just a flashlight, it's a spotlight and it's based on Cree. So 10,000 lumens will cast a light about 500 yards. And if you think about that, a football field's 100 yards. So five football fields away, you can see this light. So imagine walking in the woods and sweeping this across the ground in front of you, or pointing it up in the trees. Like there's nothing that's gonna escape this spotlight. It's that powerful. It's also incredibly long lasting. Like I'd mentioned, 15 hours, 20 hours on average. And the reason it can do that is because it's got a 10,000 milliampere hour battery inside that's rechargeable. A lot of the rechargeable lights in the market have really small batteries inside. So you charge them, you take them out in the woods, and in a couple hours, they're gone, they're shot. With this one, you can go 20 hours. I mean, that, that to me is incredible that I can charge it, take it out in the woods, and still have plenty of use out of it uh, 10, 15 hours into the, into the use of the product. They also built a tripod in, which I think is a nice touch because, okay, it's great as a lantern. You can take it out as a spotlight and use it, but there may be times you're doing work around the house and having a tripod like this where I can point the light where I need it while I'm doing work. Maybe I'm doing electrical work, changing an outlet or something, or I'm outside painting, whatever it happens to be, this light will cast a ton of light and you can use it for that as well. A couple other cool features. The front of it's got protection built in so that it's got a nice um, lensing hood on the front of it here. So a lot of them have the lens right out in the open. And the challenge there is if you throw it in your kit bag or you throw it in the back of your car, if the lens is exposed, it's gonna get scratched and that'll impact the type of light it's gonna cast down field. This has a nice hood on the front of it, which really protects that lensing inside. They've done similar things with the button. You'll notice the button here has got a, a rubber grommet around the outside of it that's raised. So you're not accidentally gonna hit that button or if it's in your bag, nothing's it's gonna bump up against the button, turn it on, then you get to your camping site and find out the light's been on the whole drive out there and there's very little energy left in it. So you have to push down in that center, but I like that because again, you're not gonna inadvertently hit that button and turn it on. And there's three modes to the lighting. When you first turn it on, it's on super bright. You can tap it again, it goes to a little bit dimmer. And then if you hold it for three seconds, it goes into SOS mode. Now, you might be thinking, what do I need SOS mode? Well, if it's in the back of your car, 
Maybe you've had an unfortunate breakdown on the side of the road. This thing will cast a light again over 500 yards. So put it in SOS mode, put it on the side facing the trees. Don't face it downstream, down towards the cars because you'll, you'll blind the drivers coming your direction. So point it over towards the woods and this thing will be flashing up against the trees. It'll be pretty obvious that you've had some issues with your car and somebody will pull over and hopefully help you. Uh, it's completely waterproof as well, which is a big difference. A lot of other uh, lights on the market are weather resistant, which means, okay, it's weather resistant. What is that going to mean? Can I put it in water? Can I drop it in a lake? You can't. With this one, it's IP67, which means it's completely sealed. So you can, I'm not going to recommend this, but you can drop it in the water for a short period of time, pick it right up, and you're going to be in good shape. The reason it can do that is because on the rear of the unit where you do the charging right here, it's a sealed unit. You have to actually pop it open. Hear that click? And then look inside. There's a rubber gasket on top of that. So it's not just the plastic sealing it. There's a rubber gasket inside that you have to open up actually to charge it. So they've really thought of everything there from the protection side. The last thing I want to mention, because of the 10,000 milliamp hour battery in it, they provide a USB-A port on the back that you can use to charge other devices. So this cable, if your phone's a USB-C, you can use this to charge the light by plugging this into the light and this into your charger. But if you're out in the field and your phone's getting a little bit low and it uses a USB-C connection, you could plug this into the light, plug this into your phone and charge your phone from the internal battery. So you've got sort of an emergency battery bank that you're carrying out there in the field. Don't tell the kids about it because they'll be charging their games off it, but, but you can use it to charge your phone or your tablet when you're out in the field. So again, I think BySight is really thought through, what am I gonna do with a flashlight when I'm out there camping in the woods or hunting or whatever? And they've tried to build everything they can into this light. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit and I'll explain some of the features and functions. And then I'll come back at the end and just point out a couple of things, which I've already mentioned, that you can keep in mind when you're comparing this to other lights you might be considering. Inside the kit, you have the rechargeable light. You'll find a charging cable. USB-A to USB-C, and I'll show you where that plugs in in a minute. The USB-A end can plug into any standard wall charger or your computer, and the USB-C end plugs into the light to fully recharge it. You'll also find a full instruction manual that explains everything about the light you'll need to know, how to install the lens, how to charge it, where the buttons are, the different light modes available, things like that. You'll also find a strap, a nice shoulder strap you can clip on this. So if you're out in the wilderness and you're walking around the woods, you can clip this on there and put it over your shoulder. Also included is a red filter for the front, and that'll knock down a lot of the glare if you're hunting at night. It's a, a great lens to use to not cast a lot of light, but still give you plenty of illumination. Now, the light itself has a tripod on the bottom that's fully adjustable, and that makes it really nice as a work light because you can sort of tighten these knobs and adjust at any angle you need to put the light right where you need it. On the top of the unit, you'll find the on and off button, and again, there's a nice rubber bushing on the, around the outside of that. You're not going to accidentally hit that and turn it on or off. And then the back is where you'll do the charging, and you'll notice that cap is closed. It's actually a locked cap. You have to pop it open. And then inside there, there's actually a second rubber gasket that protects the charging. And there are two ports inside here, the USB-C port and a USB-A port. Now, what's interesting about this is you can charge the unit through the USB-C port. Once it's fully charged, you can use the light. But if you need to charge your phone or some other portable device out in the field, you can connect the USB-A cable here, and this turns into a power bank. So you can actually use the stored energy from the batteries inside, either with the light or with your phone or your tablet or whatever else you need to charge off there. So that's a really handy feature built into the product. Really nice, heavy duty. It's waterproof. Uh, it's got a good feel to it, really solid, rugged feel to it. And the lensing up front has got the Cree bulb, like I'd mentioned before, an incredibly powerful bulb up front. It's going to throw a lot of light downfield, very, very far from where you are. It's going to give you really good illumination of the area in front of you. I hope that closer look was helpful. And again, there are a few things to keep in mind when you're comparing this particular outdoor, weatherproof, rechargeable spotlight to others you may be considering. The first thing, IP67 rating, which means it's completely watertight. You can drop it in the stream, pick it up, it's still gonna work on you, and you know you're gonna drop it in water when you're out there camping. So having something that's totally sealed is really important. It's using Cree technology. A lot of the other lights are using LED technology. Nowhere near as bright, and they're horrible as far as efficiency goes. So you're not gonna get as long a use out of them. With this one, you can get up to 20 hours use on a single charge you can fully charge it in less than four hours and you can probably use it for the entire camping trip because of that Cree bulb in the front I like the fact that the button is protected so it's not going to turn on when you don't expect it I also love the fact that it's got a tripod on the bottom so it's a spotlight or a searchlight as well as being a work light which is kind of cool and then finally it's got a battery bank function built in so the 10,000 milliampere hour battery inside the unit can be used to charge external portable devices just by plugging a cable into it so what more could you ask for it really is the perfect perfect situation 
condition. Anyway, that's all I had for today. I really hope you found this review helpful. I think it's a wonderful product, and I think the company has really thought through pretty much everything I care about when I'm taking a searchlight out in the field. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.